Yeah, baby. Hey, it's time to take you on the tour of my swinging record room. I think you're going to find it really, really groovy. So let's take a look and see what I got. Actually, this record room we just got it redone. You know, during the summer, you know, I'd had some water in here again. So I wound up, we trenched the outside of the house, we trenched the inside of the house. So now, supposedly, I'll never get a drop of water again down in this basement, which would, you know, kind of gives you a nice peace of mind. So I was able to get it all redone, convert, made it from one room into two rooms. Uh, the real key there is once one of your children leave, don't don't just sit around and let you know the bed and all their stuff stay in there. Move it all out and take it over, and that way they cannot come back. So here's what we got going on in this room. So this cabinet here, this has a lot of my box sets, my bigger box sets that will fit in here. And you know we got a, there's a large variety anywhere from you know you see Zeppelin, Luna. Buscadu, there's Miles Davis, uh, Jethro Tall, there's some Water Boys, um, Jack White stuff, you know, Petty, Hendrix, Muddy Waters, uh, Stax, Phil Spector. Uh, it's just different things I've collected through the years, uh, things I like, very eclectic. Uh, there's my uh, 45s, really. I started collecting with 45s. Once I got into albums, though, I stopped buying 45s, so they're all from the 70s. You can see I have these Paramount box sets. They're kind of my two of my favorite things. Two years ago for Christmas, all I asked for was I wanted Paramount box sets. So I went and I bought them, gave them to my wife to wrap for me for Christmas. That's all I got. That's all I wanted. And then the Clash box set, because I really like the Clash. Uh, I start my albums down here. And really this section is basically easy listening, world music, and country music. And that's my cat. So, well, I'll call it my wife's cat. I'm not too much into its name is Cat, by the way. Uh, first batch of CDs here. This is all my soul and funk music that I have collected through the years and some compilations. Now, my rock albums, they start down here. And you can see it's getting kind of full. That's just A through B on there. And we got more albums, and you can see there's more cabinets that are kind of packed with these albums. Uh, really, this goes, I think, to the letter about I, and then I had to go into more cabinet space. As far as stereo system, I'm really not a big technophile, audiophile, you should, you know, I guess you should say. Look at that, I even have a fuse box in there. So I have a uh, Techniques Equalizer, a Sherwood receiver, an RCA double CD player, and an Audio Technica turntable. Seems to do the trick for me, and uh, you know, I like the sound, so that's all that matters. You know, four speakers, sitting around. I really got to do some wiring with that. Kind of just had an idea this morning. Kind of funny how that happens. Uh, when I look here, I have a lot of my world music. Just different things from all the different countries. This was a uh, kind of a recent find. So when I was in college, I worked in the library and everything's about organization. Well, since the early 80s, I have cataloged and colorized, depending on type of music, everything that I own. And uh, a couple years ago, and they were all in little file boxes, so a couple years ago we're walking through a record fair, I mean a record fair, a uh, antique fair, and I saw this, um, the whole file box from a uh, library, I thought, that works perfect. And it has. Of course, now we have Discogs that I put everything on to, everything's on the computer, but I still like just keeping up with my old card file. Uh, and this rack here. That's a lot of my jazz box sets, uh, tons of Miles Davis and John Coltrane, then of course the jazz CDs, and it goes down into a bunch of blues CDs, uh, really influenced by a lot of that music, and uh, Miles Davis is king for me. Coming over here, it's nice artwork my kids gave me. So now I begin 
you know, like, so these, these are the different cabinets I bought uh, from Ikea and, the, and then on Amazon. Uh, again, just trying to get stuff in, you know, again, letter J. You can just see, you know, they're, they're fairly full here. And just, I'm always looking to see where I'm going to build up next to put in more albums. Uh, just like the displays. A, a lot of these uh, in the front, some are autographed, some are not, but just some of my more favorite albums that I just like to look at. Of course, you have to keep changing them out. And Rock'em Sock'em Robots because they're just plain cool. So when you come down over here, again, more of the cabinets. And this stuff now we're getting into my vinyl LPs on jazz, blues, and the soundtracks. Yeah, I'm just kind of slowly beginning to run out of room again. Going to have to learn to see where I'm going to be able to expand at. And then just kind of my bling. These are things I've bought as I travel. You know, um, when I was in Ireland, I had to have a bonner room there. Um, my last visit to Puerto Rico, saw that, had to have it. That was my trumpet from band, which I really sucked at, but there it is. Just a bongo because I didn't have a bongo. Alright, moving over. Uh, just a lot of my uh, books, my guides, shall we say, music guides that I have just worn out. Again, I like to catalog what I own in those and uh, before I go shopping sometimes take a look to see you know what the what people say about the different albums out there and of course you have to have 1001 albums which to buy uh, here these are more the CD box sets that I have purchased throughout the years uh, a lot of great stuff I really like these when I was in Columbia House once a year in Columbia House they put specials on their CD box sets and wow did I buy them uh, there's soul and funk records that I have and those are classical box sets down there that I've picked up uh, throughout the years generally at library sales various musical instruments that my children there we go, little R.E.M. have left. You know, none of them really ever played them, but there they are. So if I ever do want to start a band, I'm set to go. All right, so you go into room two. Uh, this is kind of one of my favorite cabinets. You know, not only buying records, but I really like buying books about music, especially biographies or about music, you know, like during the 70s or 60s. So as I shop, or as I go around traveling, you know, I usually check out like Half Price Bookstore and I'm always looking for new biographies or even old biographies on various artists because you know the more I learn, the more I learn to appreciate the music. So that's, I mean, I, I do really kind of collect books, but you know, I try to keep all my music ones are down here. All right, so now we have the room of CDs. So, you know, in the early 90s, you know, the little record store I had where I lived quit carrying vinyl. So it all became CDs. And as I travel, I would buy used vinyl. But for the most part, I went totally into CDs. So again, I have a lot of my box sets on top. And here are my uh, different movies for um, music movies, shall we say. Except for the Twin Peaks, just because I really like Twin Peaks. But uh, these are all rock CDs. So uh, it really spreads, you know, 90s and in the aughts, man, was I buying music. These cabinets, oh gosh darn, they're big, you know, they're over six feet tall. I had Amazon deliver them, you know, about killed my wife and me trying to bring them inside the house. Another cabinet I got, again, just more music. This is, uh, this cabinet is full of my classical music. And there's rap music in there, so that's what that deals with. And soundtracks, and then these cabinets are full of soundtracks. For those of you who've been around, you have to appreciate Al Bundy. You know, he's a pretty cool guy. And then we come around and back to my Austin Powers. So, again, you know, I keep expanding. 
<laughs> I just took this second room over, so it's hard to believe that somehow I had everything in this room all of last year. Wow, that room must have been crowded. I even have, sorry, go in the storeroom. There we go. Those boxes there are more CDs that I don't even have out yet. Uh, a lot of it's just compilations. Of course, I got uh, three big crates of record albums that I have duplicates of because I couldn't figure out that I already owned it. But uh, so, room. We got looking like got to clean your record somewhere. That's the official record cleaning station. So there we have it. I I think there's there's about ten thousand albums CDs down here, and believe me, it is my zen space. So I hope you enjoyed that tour. Enjoy your day, put on some great music, and relax in your own private record space.